Right, this is gonna get double walled off. Yeah, double door. Double door. 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 Right. Yes, I'll, I'll just put a server, a, a sofa, and a, a vending machine for no reason. Hmm. I'm liking it so far, to be honest. I'm liking where it's going, where it's looking. But I think I do need another double door, like... Here-ish. I don't know why. Maybe just in the middle. For inconvenience sake. Right. We need a visitation area. Let's do it on both sides. Um, yep. With a nice object. There we go. Alright. Uh, it needs to be like four, 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 four. Beautiful. Same here. Visitation, nice. Oh, common room. I need one of them. Uh, not at this point though. Like that, that could be one of these two rooms, I guess. I would like the shop to be over here, but close to deliveries. So this visitation might have to be a shop. And just bring the visitation over here. Like that. You know? I think that's fair. This one can be a library. So. Yeah. I like how I'm putting all my doors off center. That's that's how I do. Oh, wrong, wrong, wrong. There we go. And here. I wish it were easier to do these plans. I think it used to be, right? No, no, didn't. I don't know. I'm not sure. It's been so long. Right, so visitation's done. Shop, library. Done. Right, now do we have the classroom over here or nah? Right, we got this. I wish there were like a checkbox you could do, you know, like just be like, pull in cell, tick, solitary, cross, dormitory, cross, you know, uh, we need canteen, done, uh, kitchen, we need the kitchen, let's do that one, this is a canteen, the kitchen, we'll have the chefs and drag the food from over here, all the way over to the, through the canteen, I think into the kitchen I think so we might have like a special path for the, uh, the chefs but I think that that is reasonable but I don't think it needs to be that big so I'm gonna go for a 10 by 10 instead but this size of canteen is quite small that's as wonderfully sized could make another canteen somewhere else for um, these boys and these boys will come with its own kitchen so it'll be fine uh, canteen let's put the uh, staff thing here I think it's five or is it six I think it's five which makes me want to go like this instead five five no 
Like, yeah. No. <laughs> I tried to think of how I'm gonna do it. Let's let's go like this. Yeah. So you can take it at both sides, and there's gonna be tables beautifully laid out. Oh my goodness. Right, there we go. Maybe we move these in like that. So then these balls have room. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that looks good. Right, and um, I think we have another one like here. Just dead center. As you walk in, you see you see people eating. You know, see the path to get to the food. It's all cool, all right? We've got two goes into the kitchen. I don't know if I'm gonna have people working there or not. There's gonna be a metal detector out here if I do. There's only this way in and out. So, yeah. I'm happy with that. Alright, let's get our fridge set up in that. I'd like to put sinks here. Uh, maybe our fridge is here. That should be enough fridges, you know, six of them. Yeah, that makes no sense logically. Alright, there we go. I could do that. Big old fridge setup. Oh, just some fridges here. And at the back I'll have more fridges. Right. Let's do double cookers on. Maybe have a fridge and then cooker. And then double cookers. And here we can I don't know. Have more fridges. One, two, one, two. Okay. So let's have these be fridges. So we've got six fridges and we've got eight cookers, two sinks. I think that's a good ratio. And and two bins. But I'm keeping the gap for now. Uh, let's start this library, I guess. There needs to be a, a comfy chair and a desk. Right. No, I think it's a three block desk, actually, so it's like that. I'm not too sure. Let's ignore that. These are, like, really manageable spaces. Malleable spaces. Um... Okay, so we've done that room. Let's go for another one. A uh, yard. Uh, sure. For the yard, we'll um, sort out the path. Alright, we want a nice... Let's say two gap distance between the building and the yard. And then a nice two block path that people can walk on. Or run round on. Maybe I'll add a track path on the interior, because I know that's a new thing. So, track path can be here. Right. And normal normal yard stuff will be here. It makes the yard look super small. But, you know, I could put like a table and bench and, um, you know, stuff like that. And, and maybe widen the track path to these two blocks, or at least three. Maybe. I'm not too sure. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. Well, let's add our paths to doors. That's a bit awkward. Let's 
do that. And here would be a nice center piece, right? Right here, rough center. I don't know if it's a double center or not. I don't really care. Well, I do. 12 by 12. Perfect. I think that looks cool. Right, so the yard is done. Let's go for offices. Offices would be down here. I think we do three on each side. Wait, how many? How many offices do we need? I'll do four on each side to be safe, you know. So let's go all this way. Actually, are we gonna go all the lengthways? But uh, let's still go lengthways. Actually, so offices need to be what four. Four interior, so that's uh, six, yeah, and six, two, three, four, right. So twenty one meters. That should be right. No, nope. twenty one and twenty one. Yeah. Uh, five by five. Beautiful. Watch you. Watch me. I've done it all wrong. No, oh, it's beautiful. Nice. Okay, right, I'm gonna need a nice little walkway. Uh, a narrow, narrow corridor. I don't know what we'll have on this side. I think a staff room, but um, it's a pretty big staff room, so like an armory as well. The other side would be dogs instead of the armory. Yeah. So let's um, let's do a eight meter here, and it's still a big staff room, that isn't it? Let's make the staff room slightly smaller. Big armory. But there's gonna be a lot of stuff going on, so that that is pretty good, pretty decent. Um, let's add a door here as well to the outside world. Oh, and a door here and one here. Maybe no. Um, yeah, no. I'm gonna say make it easier for my armed guards, but uh. That'll make it easier for the prisoners as well. They'd have to break through this door to get here. Um, if there were a riot going on, and I'd know where to send my um, my my dudes. You know. So we just copy this up here. This is a twenty-one by fourteen. Beautiful. So that has done the um, the offices, the um, staff rooms, the uh, not the security infirmary. Oh, that's one I always forget about. Uh, infirmary can be one of these, I guess. Yeah, like infirmary and and common room. Okay. Like the mog is like right at the back of the infirmary. Like no one talks about the mog. But it is a thing that's there. I think I think we have like one here and then three caskets there. You know? So then the guys walk in, they're like, Oh yeah, this guy was murdered by a a mop bucket. And then um they're like, Yep, I can concur. And then they like cause a death mop bucket, and they put them in in there, wait for the uh, hearse to come, and take them away. So yeah, I think that's good. 
I mean, the hiss is almost immediate, so there shouldn't be... It shouldn't ever really fill up. Unless there's been a riot. Like, a serious, deadly one. I might make it slightly bigger. Because we don't need this many hospital beds. Let's go for four, four. Um... See... I think... I think the design on them makes them look like they can all hug each other, right? Like that. But I don't like the look of that. Um... I don't like that either. Maybe that. Bring that out. And then that up. Right? So they've all got the IV spots and then the doctor can go, Hey, you don't need drugs today. Get out of here, scamp. Like, oh, damn it. <laughs> uh, I'm going to rotate this to face this way, though. And, and maybe I'm bringing my line up, but I don't really think so. You know, I think that that looks cooler. Right now, for the common room, which I normally make two of, so then the, the stupid psychologist thing works. So let us make a room like for the activity, like an activity room for the prisoners. They're going to have a lot of chairs in here. Um, a nice open circle of chairs. That's all that room is going to be. It's going to be the chair room. Activity room. Okay, and here they'll have a TV and uh, that, that amount of seats have a, a radio playing over here and I don't know whatever the freak new is in the game chessboards and that maybe I <laughs> a foosball table yeah we'll have that over here that that's definitely um prisoner friendly and it fits perfectly so yeah we'll do that wow that's like a lot of stuff Foot bridges? What the heck? Okay. So we got the basic stuff in here and, and a foosball table. Why not? And and let's add a library book here. Right. That's nice. Um Yep, it looks cool. And it is symmetrical. Beautiful. Well, the, the, the room layout is not the objects. But you know what? I don't mind that. That actually helps. Right, so what else do I need? Got the Morgan Infirmary, the common room, the laundry we've not got. Laundry doesn't require any outside... Um, outside deliveries I don't think over the new new stuff which the janitors take care of um let's put the laundry over here then you know like through the canteen they're going to the laundry kind of makes sense, right? I don't know what we'd put this side. Not yet, at least. Oh my goodness. 